Now I made $262 profit today with less than $1,000 in my account. I've made five scalping trades today, one of which was a loss. In today's video, I'm going to tell you when's a great opportunity to scalp, why did I scalp, and how do you scalp for a quick profit. Patreon members receive a daily brief in the morning, just before trading starts. And in the brief, we have some very safe place and the safe place will be to buy calls at the minor support levels and the major support levels. So some members bought calls here, that's great. I know some of you closed here for a good profit. If you bought your calls at this major support here, I hope you closed it in time because there are seller turnouts today in preparation for tomorrow's CPI, Consumer Price Index announcement. And the sellers haven't been appearing for the past few days, as I stated in my report, because most of them have already covered their shorts uh, from that massive sell-off uh, that resulted in a strong rally uh, two days before. So sellers will be ready to get back in action, and I think this will be a setup for tomorrow. Now, how do you trade SPY when it doesn't want to go up or go down? When it stays within a two-point range, maybe even slightly less than two-point range for extended period of time. You don't see any clear calls or puts that you need to buy that you can hold for a longer period of time. I just see short candles like this. So this is where scalping comes in if you still want to make a profit for today. But SPY is generally not like this. SPY, SPY's daily average range is about four. 3.8 to 4.0 and just a few days ago we have experienced uh, the daily average range of about 6 to 10 uh, so those are great for buying calls and puts and trying to get great large action and good profits within the day uh, but this past two days the reason why this happens is because of extremely low volume uh, there is indecision in the market there is equilibrium so buyers and sellers, they are at agreement at a certain price. The indecision is because nobody knows whether the market is going up or going down, just waiting for a big headline. And that will come tomorrow in the Consumer Price Index announcement, the first of many, because next week we're going to have uh, the tapering meeting that's going to happen on the 14 and 15 by the Fed Reserve. And so these are the headlines that's going to influence the decisions of the market. But these past two days, range-bound trading between key levels. And so how do we trade in such conditions like this? For me, I made five scalps. Let me just run through my trade. So at 9.32, I bought a call option. I made $118 here. The second trade was a loss at 9.53. 9.53, I bought a put option here. I closed it too soon. Closed it at 9.57. I, cl I closed it too soon. I made a loss of $10 from the commissions here, although I closed it at the same price. 10.06, I bought a put option here and I closed it within the minute. I made $44 here. 10.41, I bought a call option here. This one I held a little longer. I held it for about 20 minutes up to 11 o'clock and I closed it for a $52 profit. Finally, 11.19, I bought a call option here and I closed it for a $60 profit. So total $262 profit from five scalping trades. I called it a day. Uh, scalping can be really tiring because you have to stare at the candles. Um, didn't want to commit to any longer position because of how range bound the chart is. Uh, I knew that if uh, we built a structure and if the chart breaks structure, uh, we will expect uh, one movement. It's really difficult to predict this coming unless you've placed all your puts in place and just wait for the stop loss. Uh, but I didn't have the time to wait today. So I just closed my trades by scalping in the morning. Now, what is scalping? Uh, scalping means that we are trying to make small profits uh, with many trades uh, based on small price movements. So we don't hold a trade for too long. In fact, we scalp, we should clear it within the five minute candle. Uh, that's my rule of thumb. If I have to clear it within a five minute candle, I consider it scalping. Now scalping, the most important thing you need to know is that your entry point must be great. You must be, you must have a great entry point. If you have a great entry point, uh, your exit will come soon and you must be decisive to make the exit, even if it's too early. Now, what are the tools you need for scalping? Now, firstly, you need to have very clear key levels. 
uh, key levels are where um, there is some some opposition. Uh, so if you're a support line, for example, you will receive some buying pressure. If you're a resistance line, for example, you receive some selling pressure. So there is some form of reversal in the candle. Now, if you have really good key levels that's already plot out, it'll be much easier for you to do your scalping here. So for example, at 932, when this key level was being tested right at the open of the market, and we see buying pressure coming in to defend this key level here, I bought I bought a call option here. And I wait, waited for the candle to complete. Uh, sometimes don't wait if you see the momentum up. Just close it as soon as you can. All right, I waited for the candle to complete and for the second candle to test this next key level here. And I see some selling pressure. I sold it. I already have enough profit at this area here. So you notice that the candles all move along this key levels right here. So the first thing you need when you scope is that you need very clear and sometimes very narrow key levels. Now, not everyone has so many key levels. Uh, some just have major support and resistance because they will clutter up the chart. But I like to have all these key levels just in case of scalping plays like today. If I, if I could make an early scalp, some profits here, it'd be easier for me to place my longer trades with a, a more looser, a stop loss so that I can take a higher risk tolerance. So th that's my trading plan for every day in SPY. So in this case, you notice that at these key levels, there will always be some form of opposition. And this is where you can buy calls and puts for your scalping trade. Now, five minute candles are, are not the most ideal for scalping because sometimes you want to close uh, the position within that minute. So while I was looking at five minutes candles, I was actually monitoring the movement of the five minute candles and forming the images of one minute candles in my head. Uh, so the easier way to do this too, if you're a beginner, is to look at one minute candles. So this is a one minute candle, one minute candle chart. Now the easier way to do this is through a one minute candle chart. So basically what does this mean? It means, now what does a five minute candle mean? So five minute candle just means these five candles combined together, right, the open, and the close, right? Just combine together and the rest are the wicks. So basically that's it. So you can still see this candle in a five minute chart. And then the second minute of your five minute chart, you will see these two candles combined. On the third minute, you will see this. Uh, I prefer that. I think it's a, it's a bigger picture for me. Uh, but of course, if you're scalping, right, you will have to look at your one minute candle. Sometimes even one second candles. I mean, if you have access to that, uh, it's too much noise for me and I don't scalp all the time. Uh, scalping is quite stressful, um, very, very time consuming. So I scalp only because I have no other choice and today is one of those days. So the first tip for scalping is to make sure that you have your key levels in place. Now the second tip for scalping is once it reaches that key level and you face a opposition, now in other terms, we call this a breakout candle. Now, a breakout candle just means that it is the opposite candle. So in this case, if there is selling pressure here, and at this key level, we see that there is buying pressure that returns. Now, at this candle where you see a breakout candle, you buy the scalp. So in this case, I bought a call exactly at 9.32 here when it was challenging this key level here. So I bought a call here. And then pay attention to the candles and close as soon as you can. Some scalpers, they just close it at this key level. That's fine too. When I was looking at a five minutes candle, I was observing that the buying pressure was strong and surpassed this level. So I kept it, I kept my position open and only at this level, then I noticed there's some selling pressure. And when the selling pressure, I sold it here. Now let's take a look at my second trade, 10.06. Now same thing, you notice at 10.06. Now these two candles shows a lot of weakness and then there's this breakout candle. Now, once there is this breakout candle here, right, I bought my put option, uh, but I don't see this in my five minute candle chart. I see a combination of them, but I was able to tell that there was a breakout. So this breakout here, and then I bought a put option. So you notice the trend is quite straightforward. My next trade, 1041. Now 1041, I bought it slightly late. If this comes down, and got tested here. It didn't reach this key level. Buyers came early. And we see once there is a breakout candle like this here, it would be a good time to buy a call option here actually. 
I bought it slightly late at 10.41. I think I bought it around this level when it went down and managed to close it. This was my most profitable trade for today. Scalping, just remember three things. Uh, the first one is you must have key levels as reference points for you. You would know that uh, buyers and sellers will turn out at that level. Uh, the second one is to observe breakout candles. And if there's a breakout candles coming in, take a position. And the third point is you must be very decisive uh, to close your candles. Now, I don't recommend scalping if you're a beginner, but sometimes we just have no choice. So we have to do the trade today like this. But tomorrow is going to be a really exciting day. Uh, Patreon members see you tomorrow morning for our report. Thank you for watching and have a great night ahead.